Have you ever pondered who might be considered the mother of the African people? This question takes us back, way back, through the mists of time to the era of the biblical Great Flood. In those ancient times a man named Noah embarked on a divinely sanctioned mission to create an ark, a colossal wooden vessel that would save a select few from the impending wrath of the heavens. Among those chosen few were Noah's sons, and our story centers around one of them, the enigmatic figure known as Ham. Within this family unit, Ham's wife stands as a figure of intrigue and mystery. Her name, sadly lost to the relentless march of time, did not find its way into the annals of written history. Yet despite this, her story resonates with a unique significance. It paints a vivid picture of a woman who is often overlooked in the sprawling tapestry of our shared human heritage. This brings us to the heart of our narrative. As the dawn of civilization broke, Ham's wife was amongst the eight survivors of the Great Flood. This miraculous event, a divine intervention that saw the world cleansed of its sins, left only Noah, his family, and a motley array of wildlife alive within the safe confines of the Ark. In the midst of this cataclysm, her resilience stood out, a beacon of hope amidst the stormy. She was a woman of remarkable strength and fortitude, a testament to human survival against unimaginable odds. Along with Noah and his family, she boarded the ark, escaping the divine wrath that washed over the earth. As the waters receded, she was among those who stepped forth onto the barren world, ready to usher in a new chapter of human existence. Therein, she became an integral part of the inception of world, a matriarch whose influence continues to echo throughout the ages. Our journey commences at the dawn of civilization. Ham's wife, whose name history did not deem important enough to record, was amongst the eight survivors of the Great Flood. Along with Noah and his family, she boarded the Ark, escaping the divine wrath that washed over the earth. In the aftermath of the Flood, as the waters receded, the Ark found its resting place on the mountains of Ararat. It was a site of unique beauty. The once violent waters now pacified, leaving the ground saturated, fertile, ready to give birth to a new beginning, an untouched world. The Ark, a beacon of survival and hope, sat nestled amongst the rugged peaks of Ararat, its timbers worn and weathered, a testament to the resilience of life. The door to the ark creaked open, and stepping out were Ham and his wife. There was a sense of awe and reverence as they beheld the landscape that lay before them. The air was fresh, filled with the scent of damp earth and vegetation, a stark contrast to the confines of the ark they had known for so long. They felt the cool wind on their faces, of the natural forces that shape this world. The silence was broken only by the distant cry of a bird, a welcome sign of life returning to the deserted lands. Their eyes were drawn to the horizon where the sun was beginning its ascent, casting brilliant hues of orange, red, and purple across the sky. The colors were reflected in the pools left by the receding waters, creating a spectacle of lights and shadows. Bathed in this ethereal light, everything seemed vibrant and new, an earthly paradise. Their hearts filled with hope they forth, treading lightly on the moist soil, acutely aware of the preciousness of this second chance. Everything was untouched, unsullied, waiting to be discovered. Their footprints marked the beginning of a new chapter, a story of survival and rebirth. It was the dawn of a new era, a world reborn, fresh and untainted. Their journey took them over hills and through valleys, across streams, until they arrived at a breathtaking panorama. There, amidst the fresh foliage and vibrant blossoms, they witnessed the birth of a rainbow. A myriad of colors arching across the sky, a celestial painting crafted by the hand of the divine. It was an undeniable symbol, a promise from the heavens. They were amongst the first to witness the rainbow, God's covenant of never again destroying the earth with a flood. As humanity began to repopulate the earth, Ham's wife bore him four sons, Cush, Mizraim, Phut, and Canaan. These sons weren't just ordinary men, their legacy held a great significance in the history of mankind. Each of these sons, through their strength, wisdom, and leadership, went on to become the patriarchs of various nations and peoples, shaping the world as we know it today. Cush, the eldest of the four, fathered the Cushites. The Cushites were a brave and vibrant people, who eventually settled in the fertile now known as Sudan. This land, bathed in the golden African sun and nourished by the mighty Nile, proved to be a perfect cradle for a civilization that would thrive for centuries. The second son, Mizraim, birthed a lineage that would go on to establish one of the earliest and grandest civilizations in history, the Egyptians. 
the Egyptians, known for their architectural marvels and scholarly advancements, forever imprinted their mark on the sands of time. They built pyramids that kissed the sky, invented writing systems, and developed sciences that modern humanity still learns from. Foot's lineage, on the other hand, led to the ancient Libyans. The Libyans were an industrious people, surviving and prospering in the harsh North African desert. Their society was one of rich culture, trade, and military prowess, leaving a lasting legacy in the annals of history. Finally, the youngest son, Canaan, fathered descendants who settled in the land later known as Israel. The stories of their trials and triumphs, their kings and prophets, have been engraved not only in the stones of their ancient cities, but also in the hearts of millions across the globe. So from the loins of sprouted lineages that shaped our world, leaving an indelible impact on history and culture. Each son, each lineage, playing a unique role in the grand tapestry of human civilization. These sons went on to become the progenitors of various nations and peoples. Kush fathered the Kushites, who settled in what is now Sudan. Mizraim's descendants, the Egyptians, established one of the earliest and greatest civilizations in history. Foot's lineage led to the ancient Libyans, while Canaan's descendants settled in the land later known as Israel. However, the story of Ham's wife does not end with her sons. This unsung heroine of biblical times lived to witness and endure much more. Imagine being a part of the world that survived the devastating flood, and then being a silent witness to the notorious episode of Noah's overindulgence in wine. She was there, encompassed by the walls of their humble abode when Noah, succumbing to the intoxication of his home-brewed wine, lay exposed in his tent. This incident takes a further turn towards the dramatic when Ham, one of Noah's sons and the husband of our protagonist, accidentally witnesses his father in this unguarded and vulnerable state. This incident, as per the biblical narrative, goes beyond the mere physical exposure of Noah. It represents a violation of the respect and reverence a son should naturally hold for his father. Instead of guarding his father's dignity, Ham chose to share this indiscretion with his brothers, Shem and Japheth. It should be noted that the siblings didn't join in their brother's mockery. Instead, they took a cloak and walked backward into the tent to cover their father, showing the due respect that Ham had failed to uphold. In reaction to this, Noah, as the patriarch of the family, upon regaining his sobriety and learning about Ham's indiscretion, deeply displeased. His disappointment led him to invoke a curse, not directly on Ham, but on Canaan, Ham's youngest son. This act might seem irrational in today's context, but in those times, it was a reflection of the belief that a son's actions could bring about the future misfortune of his offspring. Woven into this highly charged family drama, the presence of Ham's wife cannot be overlooked. As the matriarch, she was living through these tumultuous family dynamics as a silent observer, yet a major participant. Her resilience is a testament to her strength and fortitude. However, the story of Ham's wife does not end with her sons. She lived through the infamous incident of Noah's drunkenness and Ham's indiscretion. The Bible narrates how Ham saw his father Noah naked and told his brothers about it. Displeased by this lack of respect, Noah cursed Canaan, Ham's youngest son. Ham's wife as the matriarch would have been there, living through these tumultuous family dynamics. Having journeyed through the life of Ham's wife, we come to realize her significance. She was more than just a survivor of the Great Flood or the wife of Ham. She was the mother of nations, the matriarch from whom many African peoples trace their lineage. To summarize, we've traversed the life of Ham's wife, starting from her survival of the Great Flood, to her stepping onto a world reborn and witnessing God's rainbow covenant. We followed her through the birth of her four sons who fathered numerous nations and peoples, and we've touched on her experience of the complex family dynamics following Noah's curse on Canaan. Ham's wife, the unnamed woman of an ancient era, stands as a testament to the strength and resilience of motherhood. She bore the weight of being the matriarch of many nations, and her legacy continues to live on in the vibrant and diverse cultures of Africa. Her story is a reminder that sometimes the most profound stories are hidden in the silent spaces of history. Voice over. As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we invite you to join us on this fascinating journey. Your support and enthusiasm drive us to dig deeper, to reveal the untold stories and unsung heroes of our past. If you've enjoyed this exploration into the legacy of Ham's wife and want to discover more intriguing narratives, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned to our channel as we continue to bring history alive.
And remember, your engagement helps us to tell the stories that matter. Leave us a comment with your thoughts, or share our videos with friends and family who would appreciate these historical narratives. Together we can keep the past alive, one story at a time. Thank you for being a part of our community.